And then over here with these uh, supports over here, I can click on bridge and just click this one and then click this one. And that's all it takes to add support on this. So I'm just going to add these little bridges. Again, being careful that I don't accidentally place support where I don't need it. And just add support. Again, the support is a lot thinner than what I've used. But aside from saving resin, I found that when using a clear resin and having too large of a support, it tends to leave a lot of marks on your print, even if you cut them again, because it's clear. So this happened to me in my last print and I'm trying to be very careful not to repeat that. So I'm just clicking and creating a bridge. And that way I can just print. I could decrease the radius of this if I wanted to, but I found that one thing is what you're seeing and one thing is how it actually prints. So 0 0.5 millimeters, I believe, is quite tiny. I find that doing this correctly the first time without any mistakes is, is the w way to go because if you do make a mistake, you'll spend more time correcting it and it's better just to start over. So best thing to do is just do it right the first time and that comes with the learning process experience of how to do this. So I think I'm fine with this. Um, that's the handle. I'll go all the way up and click on model two. Okay. And there's the domo and for support for this guy. Um, I mean, he really doesn't need it to be honest. I could add some support on the arms, but as it's going down and printing the layers, it should be strong enough. This angle should be strong enough to hold. But I will just put one just in case. And right at the at the arm. So one there and one there. And that's it. So we'll try that, see what happens. And if I screwed it up, it's because I didn't add support in here, but we'll see what happens. By no means am I an expert at 3D printing. Uh, I'm actually an amateur, so I'm just doing it however I can. So from here, we have the models one and two with support. We'll go to plate view and it'll show you again, the plate view and how it looks just so it doesn't get in the way of anything I give myself some distance from the print this is what I'm talking about I know DLP could get a little confusing to use and navigate but I think I'm good there I have both my models I've added support I'm going to try to not use support on the bottom over here of the angle
and well, we'll see what happens. It'll be a learning experience for myself and you guys that are watching. I'm going to go ahead and hit download STL. It's going to export it. I'm going to save the file and it should be saved to my desktop. From here, I'm going to exit. Um, I don't go to add to plate because I find it really doesn't do anything. So I just download it and go to the plates tab and then hit add. Browse for my file, which should be on my desktop called export. Hit open. Select my profile and then hit submit. Now this process will take a long time or a short time depending on how your Wi-Fi connection is. And you can already see here that it's processing the print. And if I go to layers, it's already got the first one. So all of these are the support that I added. And if I go further, if it's not processed, it won't show an image. So this will show me layer by layer, layer, and I can toggle the arrows to check it out. So I'm just going to go one by one and see how it actually is going to be printing the the print itself. So the layers are coming out OK. And I think I should be fine on the angle. Except for how it's going to join up there. If I'm going to go back to plates and then it'll say still processing. And now finally we're actually ready to print. So once this loading bar is done, I like to wait for it to finish and then uh, set this to one or just hit print from start. It'll send the code to the printer and the printer will start printing. So this is step one, setting up Nano DLP. On the next part of the video, we'll go ahead and go to the printer itself, level it, um, pour the resin, get it ready to actually print.